wonderful scholars. Welcome. My name is Kimberly Mosley, and I am the Medical and Environmental Sciences Coordinator at the wonderful Ruby Young Medical and Environmental Science Magnet Academy. I am so excited to learn with you today. This lesson is being brought to you by DeSoto ISD's A2E2 grant program. Let's get started. Who are we going to learn about today? I have someone that I want to introduce you to. His name is Mr. Benjamin Banneker. That's right, Benjamin Banneker. Have any of you heard of him? If not, today is your lucky day. Let's identify our learning objectives. Students, you will identify individuals, including Benjamin Banneker, who have helped to shape communities. Furthermore, you will think about how you plan to shape your community, both now and in the future when you grow up. Sometime in the early 1750s, a 22-year-old man named Benjamin Banneker sat industriously carving cogs and gears out of wood. He pieced the parts together to create the complex inner working of a striking clock that would, hopefully, chime every hour. All he had to help him was a pocket watch for inspiration and his own calculations. And yet, his careful engineering worked. Striking clocks had already been around for hundreds of years, but Banneker's may have been the first created in America, and it drew fascinated visitors from across the country. In a show of his brilliance, the clock continued to chime for the rest of Banneker's life. Born in 1731 to freed slaves on a farm in Baltimore, Maryland, from his earliest days, the young Banneker was obsessed with math and science, and his appetite for knowledge only grew as he taught himself astronomy, mathematics, engineering, and the study of the natural world. As an adult, he used astronomy to accurately predict lunar and solar events, like the solar eclipse of 1789, and even applied his mathematical skills to land use planning. I told you that we were gonna meet someone very exciting. I could stand here and tell you all about him myself, but why not hear straight from the mouth of the man himself, Mr. Benjamin Banneker? Hello, boys and girls. My name is Benjamin Banneker. I'm just reading one of my almanacs that I created. I was the one that loves astronomy, science, and math. I was an abolitionist fighting for the people of color rights. And I love, I love nature. And my biggest accomplishment, I created the Washington, D.C. That's right. I was the one who created Washington, D.C. Not Leofont. It was Benjamin Banneker. Me. I did lots of things. I even studied land surveyor. I was a naturalist. I was a farmer. I was the greatest human being ever lived. Benjamin Banneker. Wow, that was exciting. Mr. Benjamin Banneker, I didn't mean to be rude and cut you off, but the students and I need to make sure that we understand everything that you're saying. We had a few vocabulary words that I would like to go over. Almanac, say it with me, almanac. An almanac is an annual calendar containing important dates, and statistical information such as astronomical data and tide tables. An almanac is very helpful for farmers. Almanac. Next we have astronomy. Astronomy. Astronomy is the branch of science that deals with celestial objects, space, and the physical universe as a whole. Astronomy. Next we have abolitionists. 
abolitionist. An abolitionist is a person who favors the elimination of a practice or institution, especially slavery. This was a very important word to Mr. Banneker, abolitionist. And finally, accomplishment, accomplishment. An accomplishment is something that has been achieved successfully. Accomplishment. Now, you have at least four vocabulary words that you can add to your mental dictionary. And I think we're ready to go on and learn more about Mr. Benneker. Hello, boys and girls. Like I said, my name is Benjamin Banneker. I'm standing by this tree. It's one of my interests. I love science. I love math. But let me tell you one thing about me. I was born in 1731. You probably was thinking, that's the time when slavery is going on. You're right. That was the time when slavery was implemented. But you know what? I was born free. Yes, I was born a free man. And you know what? I love science. I love math. I love studying nature. I self-taught myself. Yes, I did. Benjamin Banneker, I self-taught myself. I taught myself math, I taught myself science, social studies. I taught myself everything I get my hands on. And you know what my greatest accomplishments? I invented the clock. That's right, look around you. You can see a clock in your bathroom, you see a clock in your bedroom, you can see the clock in your school. Just think of Benjamin Banneker. I'm the one who invented the clock. You know what else I, I love to study? The stars. I love studying planets galaxies, the way the constellations were, was formed. That's me. I love everything about the galaxies and the stars. And you know what? I was the one that invented astronomy. Yes, sir. Right. The one Galileo. It was Benjamin Banner. It was me. I love astronomy. And I use astronomy to create the almanac. I was the first one. Me. Created the almanac. Go tell your parents about the almanac. And when you get an almanac, think about me, Benjamin Benneker. And you know my other greatest accomplishments? I curated and helped create Washington, D.C. So when you go to D.C., you see the White House, you see the House of Representatives, the roads, everything. I helped plan that out. It was me, Bitch McBannon. I am you. You are me. And you can do anything you set your mind to. And you know another thing I did? I was a great abolitionist. I stood for people of color rights. That's right. I told Thomas Jefferson, every man and woman is created equal in the sight of God. Read the Constitution of the United States. Yes, right. I fought. African-American rights to vote, to get a free education, anything that other people get, we are entitled to get to. So that's me, Benjamin Banner. Like I said, I'm you and you are me. You can do anything that you want to do. Just set your mind to it. You can do it. So Mr. Banneker, let me get this straight. You were born on November 9th, 1731 in Maryland. Although slavery was going on, you were never a slave and were born free. You were self-taught. You learned everything that you knew by reading and studying and observing on your own. That's amazing. You loved science and math. Is that right, Mr. Banneker? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. You got that right. Hello, scholars. I'm back. And I have with me our biography, autobiography, slash accomplishments form. 
this is the form that you will fill out to complete our assignment. But first, let's complete one for Mr. Benjamin Banneker together. I have already put the information that we went over on the form, such as his birth date, the place that he was born, some facts about his early life. Now, let's do three exciting things that help us remember just how important Mr. Banneker was. Let's do those together because you're going to write the three major things that you plan to do that will make people always remember you. So let's start. The first thing that I wrote is that he built the first American-made clock. Now that's pretty impressive, Mr. Banneker. The second thing that I wrote was that he made almanacs for farmers. Almanac, remember that word? Look at a friend or a parent or sibling and tell them what it means just in case they forgot. Almanac, Mr. Benjamin Banneker. The third fun fact is he opposed slavery. He opposed slavery, so what was he? One of our A vocabulary words. Let me step over so you can see our learning wall. He was an abolitionist because he opposed slavery. And he even wrote to Thomas Jefferson, who was the Secretary of State at the time, but later became president. He was an abolitionist. Those are our three fun facts about Mr. Benjamin Banneker that will go on our form. Scholars, can I share one more really cool fact about Mr. Benjamin Banneker? I can't? Okay, thank you. Mr. Banneker, Benjamin Banneker, was instrumental, that means very important, in planning the layout of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. He remembered the physical plans that were later taken by a man who no longer wanted to work on the project. It's a long story. I can tell you about it later. To make a long story short, Mr. Banneker, because of his picture-perfect memory, he memorized every street, every angle, and he was able to recreate the plans in two days, which saved the planning of our city, nation's capital, Washington, D.C., as we know it today. He planned where the White House would be, where the Capitol buildings. Benjamin Banneker was amazing. So although the form tells us to share three facts, I had to put a wow fact at the bottom because that is simply amazing. So now our biography accomplishments form is complete. It can go on our learning wall here, along with Benjamin Banneker here. And I think you guys are ready to take all that you've learned and share with the world how you are gonna be a world changer when you grow up. Okay, scholars, there you have it. Now it's time to show what you know. Describe Benjamin Banneker's impact. Describe how you plan to impact your community. You can do this by completing the accomplishments form attached to your assignment and turning it into your teacher. It is my hope that this video will enhance your learning and keep your joy for education fresh and strong. On behalf of DeSoto ISD's A2E2 grant, thank you for watching. Happy learning. Goodbye, scholars.